NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Brian, you're going to be doing some mowing soon. Just planted your grass seed. I did, so I won't be mowing it anytime soon. Now, do you well, have a zero turn mower? No, I don't no. have one of those neat looking tools. I do have a, uh, I do have a battery powered mower. Wow. Yeah, I, I bought that uh, a number of years ago. You happy with it? Uh, I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather not say, no comment. So uh, I've got some good news. The uh, severe thunderstorm warning just expired at 515. The storm kind of crumbled and fell apart as it hit the cooler air in the Northeast Kingdom. We'll show you what's going on here. Hey. This is a shout out to Essex Middle School. Big group of the sixth graders there. A return visit from last year, but we brought the weather lab, had a chat inside, and actually when we were leaving, the sky was dark and uh, scary looking in the distance. Actually, I think what we saw there when we were leaving Essex Middle School is the storm that produced this hail in Morrisville. Jamie Spear sent this in and uh, you can see pea size hail there. This was Morrisville looking towards Elmore. Uh, so we wouldn't consider that to be severe hail, but the warning was out for northern Vermont. It just expired a couple minutes ago. Now it's mostly just rain headed for Lindenville. You can see the darkness over the baseball field there and uh, clearly the rain entering in. So a lay of the land here to show you what's going on. Mostly just regular old rain from northern New York to the Syracuse area. This may fire up a little bit when it hits the sun along Route 7, but no severe thunderstorm warnings right now. This is what is left of what was a severe worn storm. Not sure if it produced any wind damage. I think it was kind of borderline, but we are looking for those reports if you're in northern Vermont. But you see the yellow here just north of Linden. A couple of roads popping up. South Wheelock Road, some rain coming on through. Uh, and then back center road in Lindenville seeing the rain. Down uh, to the south a little bit, there was a thunderstorm over central Vermont, kind of over Montpelier and uh, Waterbury. A couple of lightning strikes in the last hour, but even that fell apart. So the air that's right over the Connecticut River, in other words, eastern Vermont, is chilly. It's not really conducive for thunderstorms. So we just have these small little windows where occasionally they pulse up a little bit and then they die off. So uh, the weather lab is right there in Addison County watching the sunshine and all of this inbound action coming in from New York. So we've still got temperatures in the 70s from Rutland on down towards Bennington County. So the thinking is between now 520 and about 8 p.m. this evening, we've really got to watch the southern part of our state for for some thunderstorm action. It's 71 in Rutland. We'll show you how it looks there right now. We had pure blue sky a little while ago. Now it's more of a darker cloud overhead. Look how much colder it gets towards the Connecticut River. So it's only 60 in Brattleboro with the clouds overhead. So even if the storms kind of flare up a little bit in Rutland County, I think they fall apart as soon as they get to like Woodstock in Lebanon. Dew points are not impressive at all. This is how you measure if the air is sticky or not. It's not even close. Just a little bit of moisture out there. Still, we'll be watching till about 8 o'clock. And then tomorrow and for the rest of the week, we've got clouds and a few showers. But there's some sun in the mix, too. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yes, a few showers around each of those days, but not washouts. I'd say mostly dry those days, <clears throat> just a small shower chance mixed with some sunshine, low 60s, kind of a blah weather pattern. And then for Monday of next week, pretty good. I know it's only one day, but 67 sun and clouds. It is warmer next week. Pretty confident in that. It's just that there's a lot of showers. Hopefully when we get closer, we'll be able to 